Though the support of respective regional governments was noted, the new private sector-led ferry service Connect Caribe is completely separate from the ongoing work by the governments of Guyana, Barbados and Trinidad and Tobago to commence a new ferry service among the three Caribbean states. And if all goes according to plans, the three vessels under Connect Caribe will be dedicated to weekly and daily round trips connecting to Barbados, St. Lucia, Trinidad and Tobago, St. Vincent, Grenada, Dominica, Antigua, Suriname and Guyana. The vessels will have the capacity to transport up to 8,000 passengers, cargo and manufactured goods and produce. During a press conference on Tuesday, CEO of Caribbean Israel Finance, CIF, and the UN Peace Ambassador, Andre Thomas, said the services that Connect Caribe will provide complement the proposed project by the governments of Guyana, Barbados, and Trinidad and Tobago. There is a significant discussion uh, on how we can integrate and tackle this huge opportunity and problem. Uh, I believe that uh, where there are problems, there are opportunities. And so that's our approach. So there, there will be significant collaboration in the, with, between the service that will be uh, done by the governments and our service. Recently, President Dr. Irfan Ali announced that a new company will solve the intra-regional transportation woes. Thomas said, similarly, Connect Caribe is the private sector response to these challenges, which involves several companies, including Ramps Logistics, j and Cruises and Tours, and Upturn Funds New York. This first phase of the estimated U.S. $50 million project is expected to come on stream during the last quarter of 2024 and will later be expanded to new island routes in the Caribbean Sea. Job creation is factored into the response to the region's shipment issues and according to Thomas and his team, there will be room for employment at warehouses and on the vessels. The first phase alone will see some 270 persons being employed. Tore Turnstinson, the CEO of Windward Ferries Limited is part of the consortium of Caribbean private sector partners pioneering this project and given his background in traveling this route, he deemed this a great initiative for the first phase of the project. Traders, travelers and cargo will find this to be a fast and efficient way to get around. And shippers of cargo will appreciate the frequent and quick transit time. This company not only responds to the need for quick trips by sea across the Caribbean, but also provides a realistic pathway for businesses to get their products across the region. It involves an e-commerce division that will oversee the network for farmers, businesses and manufacturers, etc. to sell products to customers from any part of the region. We are going to be the e-commerce marketplace for the Caribbean region. Our goal is to facilitate economic transformation within our region by creating this marketplace, which will allow our users to build e-commerce businesses via local, regional, and extra-regional sales. He said using this service, the users can have same-day delivery or within three to five business days, considering the country it is being exported from. Reporting for the Newsroom, Lizina Yearwood.